were flying in Germany and we were flying F-86s. And they would come over and do the same maneuvers that we make, except every once in a while one of them would go zip. And you just can't do that in a fighter, it's a conventional fighter. They were definitely in formation. Well, yeah, they weren't just random. They were flying, uh, they were flying fighter formations, very definitely under positive control. They're just typical uh, saucer shape, double lenticular shape, metallic looking. I think they were definitely piloted vehicles each one with the pilot in it, and very definitely in communication with one another, because they would have flights of more than, than four. They'd have flights of maybe 12 or 16, all across, and when they make a turn, they'd cross the flights in under, and they had to be in communication to be coordinated. Yeah, you know, every once in a while, one would zip off to the side, just do a lateral maneuver out to the side. Now they'll sit there in formation, and all of a sudden, one will go, Shh. I think they were extraterrestrial pilots flying, no doubt about it. In my opinion, I think they were worried that it would panic the public if they knew that someone had vehicles that had this kind of performance way back right after World War II, a period of time. So they started telling lies about it. And then I think they had to cover another lie, you know, tell another lie to cover their first lie. And now they don't know how to get out of it. Now it's going to be so embarrassing to admit that all these administrations have, uh, have told a lot of untruths that it's going to be embarrassing to get out of it. I think basically each and every president would probably like to get out of it, would like to come clean on the deal and not have to uh, continue to tell distruths. Eventually when there's going to be something happen that uh, that will make all of them have egg all over their face. And they're gonna to have to admit that the, you know, they haven't been truthful at all. By NASA's own figures, there are some 400,000 other planets out there that could be habitable. And I just can't believe that God would habitate this one planet only and leave all these others barren. In my personal opinion, based on no facts at all, I just feel that we're out here in the hinterland of all the galaxies, or way out in the stick and that uh, a lot of these other galaxies are closer to one another and I think they probably have a lot of travel to and from them. And once in a while we'll get a few travelers, stragglers or more distant ones come through from distant other galaxies. We should form a group at the UN level to start gathering information from around the world and when you get sightings and information and investigations actually let it be handled and coordinated from that level because there were a lot of countries that had information and there were a lot of countries like Russia and now the government of Russia now works directly with the, the civilian UFO groups and you have a difference from country to country to country but have all this information come together and be correlated in one place would really be a benefit to really try and determine what is real and what is fake.